G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. As you may have noticed, I have returned to the YouTube fold and in a very short space of time, I've pumped out about four videos. As a result, I'm gonna have to keep this tips video today pretty short and sweet. So without further ado, let's get into round 21. The first game of the week, we have the Giants hosting Hawthorne at Giants Stadium. With a couple of wins of one point and two points respectively over the last fortnight, GWS do have a slight chance of finishing top four this year. Admittedly, they were a little bit lucky to get over the line last week against Sydney with a controversial non-free paid in the dying minutes. Nonetheless, it's all about wins and losses at this stage of the year, and this week is an absolute must win for them. The Hawks probably had their slim finals hopes dashed last week when they lost to North Melbourne. They did get the jump early, but North had all the answers after quarter time and completely overran them. It wasn't a great performance, and to be honest, this week I'm tipping a pretty comfortable win for GWS at home. I'm going to tip the Giants to win by 22 points. The next game is Melbourne hosting Collingwood at the MCG. Now, I've said it a few times, but I've been expecting some Melbourne improvement at some point this year, and it just hasn't come. Last week was another tough loss for them, albeit it was at the hands of the Red Hot Tigers. Now, this game is still winnable for them, but it will probably require their best performance performance of the season to date. On the other hand, the Pires injury woes continue to mount with Mason Cox being ruled out for the rest of the season. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't particularly rate Mason Cox as a forward, but nonetheless, the Pires are starting to run out of avenues to goal. That being said, the players the Pires do have around the ground, particularly in the midfield, is still well and truly good enough, and I think they're going to win pretty easily this weekend. I'm tipping the Pires to come through with the goods by 38 points. The third game of the round is Port hosting the Swans at Adelaide Oval. Just when I, and I think a lot of other people, were just about ready to write Port off, they go ahead and belt the Dons in Melbourne. Now, I've been talking the power up all year for how good they can be on their day, and this weekend, they made me look smart for once. Now, with the Crows taking on the Eagles in Perth this weekend, this game is a huge opportunity for the power to leapfrog them in eighth spot. As I touched on before, the Swans were unlucky last week. They were pretty gallant in defeat and arguably probably should have won the match. The Swans have actually beaten Port twice in a row in Adelaide, but funnily enough, the power have won the last two in Sydney. With so much on the line this weekend, I'm going to have to tip the home side. I'm going to tip Port Adelaide to win this by 28 points. Next up, we have the unfortunately named Q clash between the Lions and the Suns at the Gabba. The Lions train keeps chugging along this year and last week they dealt with the Dogs fairly comfortably. At one point, it looked like the Lions were absolutely going to blow the Dogs out of the water, but they kind of stopped after half time. With top two likely to come down to percentage this year, this game against the Gold Coast is a huge opportunity and probably their last opportunity to really build some percentage buffer on West Coast. I've said it before, I think the Suns are moving in the right direction, but I think they're a bit physically cooked right now. They're a young side playing a taxing game style and I think a few of them are longing for the end of the season. Now the Lions did look tired themselves especially in that last quarter against the Bulldogs however I expect them to take the opportunity to build some percentage and they're going to win this game by 56 points. Next up we have the Bombers hosting the Bulldogs at Marvel Stadium. Now this is probably one of the more evenly contested matches of the round with both of these sides still a chance for finals. Now for the last few weeks the Bombers have looked like a finals Monty but there's been some doubt thrown over that with their home loss the port by like 11 goals. Now I still think they will finish 7th but if they do drop this game then their grip on a final spot will loosen considerably. Now the Doggies I thought finished their game against the Lions last week really strongly. Like I said before the Lions kind of stopped but the Bulldogs nonetheless showed an ability to score very quickly in a short space of time. Bontempelli and McRae were absolutely massive and I think if they bring that form to this game then they're a huge shout against the Dons. In fact I think it's going to be a belter of a game and I'm going to tip the Doggies in an upset by 9 points. Next up we have the Cats hosting North Melbourne at GMHBA Stadium. Much is being said of Geelong's shock loss to Fremantle in Perth last week. Personally, I think they're just suffering that typical mid to late season slump that a lot of teams who start the season well get. It could be part of just a natural cycle for them or perhaps they've increased their training loads going into finals, but Either way, I'm not too concerned for them just yet. They host a Ruse side that is continuing to slowly improve under Reece Shaw. They overcame a slow start last week to topple the Hawks at Marvel Stadium. Now, if this game was at Marvel, I'd probably be inclined to tip North in an upset, but with it being at GMHBA, that's just too much of a fortress. I'm going to tip the Cats to win this by four goals. Next up is another evenly matched contest between St Kilda and Fremantle at Marvel. Now, for mine, the Saints have never really been in the finals conversation this year, but their finals hopes officially ended last week in Adelaide late I reckon. In their final month I think the Saints probably have about three winnable games out of four as a best case scenario. That would put them at 12 wins for the year which I think from here would be a massive success. They probably won't win three out of four but 
This week against Fremantle is probably the most winnable. The Dockers will be buoyed after their shock win in Perth against Geelong last week. Admittedly, it was a bit of a lacklustre Geelong performance, but the spirit Fremantle played with was a massive improvement on the previous month or so. The Dockers did field a very young team and their smalls were able to contribute on the back of some dominance by Fife and Walters in the wet. This week though, I think the Dockers are gonna have their colors lowered. I tip St Kilda, finally by nine points. The penultimate game of the round is Richmond hosting Carlton at the MCG. The Tigers continued their impressive run with a comfortable victory over the Demons last week. The impressive thing about Richmond this year was their ability to weather the storm with injuries and they're somehow a top two chance still. With upcoming games against Brisbane and West Coast at the MCG, the Tigers have an opportunity here to build some percentage and really put the pressure on those teams. Now the Blues under David Teague have definitely been one of the form sides of the competition. Last week they were good enough to stay within four goals against an Eagles side who is absolutely Absolutely peaking right now. This game is an intriguing challenge for them to come up against the other Premiership favourite for this year. Personally, I would be surprised if they were able to keep up their good recent form. I think the Tigers are going to win comfortably. They're going to win by 44 points. Finally, we have West Coast hosting the Adelaide Crows at Optus Stadium. Like I said before, West Coast is probably playing as good a footy as they have at all over the last two years. They're clinical at the moment and recording a comfortable away win against a team like Carlton in the form they're in is no easy feat. Like quite a few other teams, percentage is a big concern consideration for them, so they'll want to put the foot down this week. The Crows hang on to 8th spot by a game and some percentage, but the pressure will be on to keep it that way this week. Beating the Eagles away in Perth is a tough ask, but for them, an important focus as well should be limiting their damage to their percentage. I do think the Crows are a little bit better than their form currently suggests, however, the Eagles are just too good all over the ground at the moment. I'm confidently tipping the Eagles by 40 points this week. Alright guys, now that's the round done, and as promised, here is the projected ladder for the end of the round if I get all my tips right. We have two changes in the top eight as the Lions percentage boosted win over Gold Coast sees them overtake the Eagles in second. The Power also leapfrogged their arch rivals in eighth on the back of their win over Sydney. In the bottom half of the ladder, the battle for eighth spot probably closes to just three teams, the Power, the Crows and the Bulldogs. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching once again. As usual, I invite you to let me know what your tips are in the comments section. Also, as a little mini announcement, True Footy is very close to having our first live stream sometime this year. Tentatively, we're planning our live stream debut during the Brisbane and Geelong game next Saturday. It's around Bush's birthday. He doesn't want to commit in case he has a party, but stay tuned for news on that. When we're able to confirm which game we'll be live streaming, it'll be on our social media, probably Instagram. That's a big hint for you to follow at True Footy Official on Insta. But that's all for today, folks. I'll see you all very soon on the True Footy YouTube channel.